My content is for 13 and up or adult collections of the product. Hello everyone, welcome to the week in review where we recap the previous week and anything extra. This actually, this week actually did have stuff, surprisingly enough. Uh, next week, probably not. All right, let's let, re, go to the recap now. Uh, we have the giveaway announce, uh, the giveaway announcement, no, the giveaway winners at uh, the end of the thing for the anniversary thing, so stay tuned. All right, well, Monday. Uh, Speaking of which, anniversary video, uh, Burst versus Metal Fight. You can guess who probably won. I won't spoil. We did it in the big stadium, ah, huh? 2v2s. In hindsight, maybe we should have just been 2v1. No, actually, no, wait, actually, no, no, actually, no, 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 actually, it should have been 3v2, actually, never mind. Yeah, this was an exciting thing. It was on the big stadium, right? Explosive bottles, you know? With all the bays and everything, we also did uh, Wind Knight versus Garuda and Knight of the past. So if you want to see evolution stuff, you can check that out. Now Tuesday, we did it versus all of the DB slash uh, BU stuff. Still deciding what kind of thumbnail format I want to go for those videos. We might go back to the original one. It's not really relevant, it's just, I don't know. Oh, also we did the news for the thing, which again, just to mention, it's not the core core image, it's heavily modified and not from there. Uh, Wednesday, the actual news uh, for the stuff, and it's, that was it for that day. Thursday, well originally, well now it's what we're doing in the week in review, but Thursday they actually just dropped the video. So, I had to now re-record the thing and then do it. Friday was now speculation because they also announced the remake set for the V2 stuff. So I had to speculate what could it mean for the future. Maybe it's just remake sets. Maybe that's just the last one. Who knows? Saturday, this is getting mad because I just saw the digital studio that we are in. Uh, Hasbro uh, QS series and then after we tried out the best drivers for Wind Knight. Uh, competitive, whatever. So if you want to see that. Saw some good comments actually on that one for some builds people did. Yep, Alrighty, yep. next topic is the remake set. So this is going to be releasing uh, mid-February 2023. They have a nice little display box on the thing. Comes with four bays. These bays are actually different from when they originally released. So we're going to go over them one by, well, almost all of them. Out of the thing, yes, it uh, was. Now this one should be the exact, the only difference is I believe they just tattoo the, the details or whatever on the thing which is uh, good for collectors if uh, you don't want to see because it looks really faded whenever you put the stickers on them so whenever they do the actual tattooed ones oh my god so much better uh the parts on it are the same yep zero cross reboot dash all right next one now this this one's actually special this one originally it was over wedge dash now they actually changed it to illegal wedge dash and it's a pain in illegal why? Because they want you to buy this set, so they had to give some incentive. I don't buy any reasoning or whatever, I just think they just wanted you to buy the set, so that's why they did it. And it's a smart move for collectors or competitive, because if it's a really heavy illegal, then maybe people want to use it. Next up, uh, I don't know, whatever the next image is. Speed Dragoon, actually. Yeah. So get this, we finally get a painted wheel that is easy to get. It is a black painted wheel, and comes with explosion dash so if explosion turns out to be good then that dash variant is going to be very useful and they if they ever do reprints or if we ever get or if that's it then i don't know fair play then but um that's pretty cool that they did that uh and then after we got what is this 10 turn whatever planet dash also uh they have launchers there uh these are nice uh, launcher grips and rip cords i believe these should be in ref actually you want know what i don't want to say something in case i i'm wrong are these in reference to oh there okay. sorry forget it forget it then forget it we're, we're moving too fast i believe these are in reference in the animation or, or whatever but um either way oh, my plastics memory is not as good because i i watched the original but i don't recall everything i don't know what the specific thing is uh from uh this is the gear reference, by the way, for H gear and all this stuff. So if you're ever wondering what's your reference point for the gears and what works and what doesn't, they made a nice infographic for people. Yeah, no, those launchers should be from Kai and Tyson, actually. Uh, but just my individual thoughts. H gear sounds dumb. 
And they did do a, on the Oha Suta program, they did just show it off, but um, I didn't get any screenshots of it. Anyway, the description, so, so low mode, it works like this. The plastic is on top and the metal is on the bottom, and then high mode's the reverse, right? Obviously. But what's weird is that the burst lock, it works in the high mode? And someone pointed out there's like kind of like plastic stoppers, maybe kind of like, listen, I, Unless this is somehow heavier than L gear, I, I I don't see it. I don't, I don't see the point of it. But I said the same thing for A gear. So uh, next up is uh, King. So with King, the biggest thing we're going to talk about is going to be deciding whether or not I'm going to lose my sanity over this because uh, I did cover a little bit late. Uh, it is dual spin, by the way, because LR. The testings for this is going to be like in insanity. And plus, there's also all the combinations. But what I will say for the testing channel is that for M and R, so when it's half metal, half rubber, I'm not doing that because that just seems pointless to me. And then after super is literally the same thing. Uh, so th so th let's go over the next stuff because after I would have mentioned all the combinations, but here we go. So the Helios core and just go next one to the Hyperion. They're, they're both the exact same for the locks and whatever. I hope, I hope we have something used for like stamina because otherwise these things will just be light even if these are tight unless they have really good stamina, I doubt. But yeah, I know, TT fumbled on that one. They should have just given it metal or something. Now this one is interesting. This one is what we call a DLC reskin. This is Belly L3, okay? It has a B lock, three powerful locks and with a strong launch. So it's kind of like the overdrive. I, so this just reads to me like it's belly L2, but it's not belly L2. I don't know, maybe the stopper's strong. Hey, maybe people can uh, milk a topic on this and say it's a big problem for this <laughs> I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. Belly L3 is a big problem. No, uh, it'll probably have good stamina, you think? Maybe. Probably, I hope it's just as good as the original bare minimum. Zeal, I'm actually kind of excited for. They should have made these just dash to begin with, but I think they'll probably do some, if they are, they should do a future release where they're gonna just make it dash, so whatever. It should be good for rubber defense with the free spin and whatever. Then after bearing drift, I think, do I need to say anything about this driver? Like, I've done the metal bearing drift, it's gonna be a good driver. It's actually the reason why, even if you don't like, even if let's say everything else in the set's not good, this is the one thing. Bearing drift is on the DB stadium, that's different, but in the standard stadium, yeah, it's uh, very good. Uh, it's, I mean, I've done the testings on it, so if you want to say, I mean, yes, it's metal bearing drift, but it should basically be the same. And uh, very smart move by TT. Moment dash, I don't see any, I mean, for what you use the moment on, which hopefully this will be as just as much, no, it probably will be as much free spin as the red moment in the orange one. Uh, this comes on the all in one set. Planet Dash, it's on the remake, but yeah, this one we just move on. It's like, I don't care about it. If Explosion's good and they did Dash, like it's smart for them because that's how they get you to get the thing. But yeah, and also Explosion. Explosion is really exciting because it's basically like a rubber destroy. I'm wondering if it scrapes or if it doesn't. I don't, I don't think it should scrape for probably what you use it on. This feels like it'd be a longinous driver. And now we're gonna talk about all the, the combinations for the thing. Uh, so obviously I tried to do a Photoshop just to show off all the possible combinations. You can see that it's a lot. And with dual spin, that means my stuff would be doubled. So here's the real important question. Four battles, because even if I get one set or if I get two sets, four battles, which combination should we mainly focus on in the battles? I don't think the Super King one I'm thinking, I mean, the Super King one is interesting. That could be just for a separate video, but for the main battles, I'm honestly thinking maybe the rubber or the metal one. It depends which one's more effective. I've also seen people point out that maybe the yellow rubber, and that's not a good thing because maybe it could be hard rubber. I think that's just speculation for right now. I mean, if it is, then fair play, but I mean, hopefully the rubber is not going to be too hard. If it is, that's going to severely limit the use. If the rubber is kind of just decent not too soft not too hard then we, we we could definitely see some use i would say but uh next now there it is ah yeah this was from the the thing but uh yeah it's a little low quality just showing the combination stuff the bu ability fusion another fair criticism people are going to bring up is that 
what happens if one of the doubles is good? Like double king is good, double super is good. Because that means you'd have to buy two sets. So I'm, I'll mention the bundle where we have the we'll two sell them. sets on our store. No, honestly, I the reason why I think they showed this is not that they necessarily... I think if they, they'll most likely do a reprint of this, most likely. I think they're just showing it because it's possible in the design. They don't want to just, you know, right? They're not going to restrict it. But I, I am curious if it actually is. I don't really even think anything should be that crazy other than maybe the super. Super is the only one I'm thinking maybe. We gotta try. Obviously we gotta test, but for the testing channel, it's gonna be a pain because I have to do all the rights, then I have to repeat lefts, but uh, what I am gonna say is that whenever we get the thing, we do the review, whatever, don't ask me when the testing's coming out. It comes out when it comes out because I gotta go through too much on that. Alrighty, next. Uh, this is Belly L3. I, I didn't like how it looks. I gave a Photoshop for what it could have looked like, maybe with more of the red or just the black. And obviously the first one is just what it would look like on the original Divine. Um, also, I think I've heard, seen some ask if, if this, if they're counting this on the stock Divine now as the actual core. I'm pretty sure they just count whatever's the original, but they'll probably have that core for the updated one. So if that answers any questions on that, uh, feel free to just put Belly L3 now on Divine. Which I guess now it feels complete. Uh, the winners, which was three prizes. Those are the winners. Indigo. Then after second place. And then after Nate Tube. I, I didn't see the Instagram on uh, the thing. I can double check. But either way, uh, make sure you contact. So just comment whatever on the thing. So we can uh, verify. verify and claim your prize. So by Tuesday, end of Tuesday, if I don't see anything, you know. Sure. That's it. All right, uh, our shop. Ooh. So this is an optional way to support the channel. Now listen, we you know we gotta throw the bundle in there because you, you know YouTube pays, but hey, you know it, it's a pretty good deal. So look, you get two and you get a free prominence Valkyrie. That's pretty crazy. And I also want to thank uh, There's anyone. There's a ten dollar very in here. If yeah. you buy a low kitty. With an extra ten dollars, you can get the uh, side for it, Belio. Wow! We also you have... got these three. You know these. And these aren't the stock ones. These are slightly modified, so you have to double check on there. Yeah. I also want to thank any of our customers who left any uh, Tip. tips and everything. It's greatly appreciate. appreciated. And this is a good seller. The, these two. Yeah, those. Yeah. With the free. Those, those are pretty common, so we we try to get rid of it. So I think the prices are fair enough. I would say. Yeah, and so make sure to check what currency, by the way, on the, the bottom. So USD, Canadian, whatever. And uh, anything yeah, and else? Yeah. yeah, actually, we got like two things. Kind of one thing, but oh, also kind of two came things. This week. Yeah, I think I've heard, I think someone have been asking if we're going to get more of these cases. We're going to try. These cases? Yeah. <sighs> it's the shipping is brutal. The shipping is a pain. And also because we have to import it and then after we have to ship it out, it's not the no, easiest. No, the, the thing is uh, the shipping fees, plus you got to pay 13% to bring into Canada. Like in the US, it's we'll, maybe we'll a little bit We'll try this because I know a lot of people are competitive and collectors, whatever, and they like to have something to store in, so yeah. we'll, we'll try to do our best. So the outside is plastic, okay? It's not heavy duty, but it's plastic, but it does the purpose. Yeah, it does the job. Oh, okay, uh, ending off now. I want to also mention, make sure to check out the morning video. We did the father versus son. This time we were, we're kind of consistent. Guys, hopefully, hopefully relax. Again next week. I'm still in the lead. He's still leading. Uh, make sure if you haven't seen that video, go on there and comment some combinations. I need people to comment on those things. Uh, also, for future projects or whatever, I have good news for Yankee too. I have finished editing that playthrough. That's the compilation of everything. I just have to listen to it now. That's like two hours, whatever. And I'm finally done Arceus. So, well, actually not the post game. It doesn't really matter. Eventually I'll get to that. Also, for the main channel, you may have seen the community post, but on Monday, we have a very special... Now, you don't spoil it, because I already showed it to him. I, you're probably thinking of saying it. Uh, Monday's a very special video. I'm very proud of it. It is very good editing. Very good style and the type of content I really like doing. Uh, it, no, it wasn't. It's a, a lot of people thought it was a Hasbro Rand video. No, it's that that's when QD is over with. That it's, it's not that. It's not. By that. the way, we we know it's in South America. What is the the two final Hasbro 
QD. Yeah, we know about that. Wow. I saw a video of Ultimate Valtriac, and I saw it burst to the original Wyvron. I don't think it was the original. I think it was like a counterfeit Wyvron, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, uh, I can't wait. Uh, I was kind of hoping that was it, but i am also to end off with, I want to mention uh, the QS thing that we reported on. So, two things. One, I want to mention the prediction thing. So, what we'll do is we'll do a giveaway, all right? This expires whenever they officially reveal the name. So yeah. the entrance is on this video. It's only on this video. You got Be a two subscriber days. of the channel. You got to wait. But we're not going to know for a while. Doesn't matter. We come back to this video. Oh, okay. So they got two days. To so we know it's QS. Okay. Could be quick serve, quick speed. Well, let's don't get the don't give them anything. We we don't know. So Queen. I don't know anything. We'll, we'll, we'll verify it, right? So, two days, you get a divine. Whenever we, we know it's confirmed, we'll, we'll announce the winner then and someone can remind me. Uh, I wanted to also mention that, that means actually it's good for Pro Series stuff because that means we'll probably get more Pro Series and we can finally get out of GT. Thank yeah. God. Yes, yeah, so stay it's tuned for the... It's funny that uh, for Bay Battle, they're doing Prime, Regalia, the Devilos. There's four different ones for for a wave two. So as we're ending off the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And that's going to be it for this week in review. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and bye.